exactly what to do right now on LinkedIn to get leads, reach and engagement. And it all comes down to combining this little known app that shows you qualified leads in a way that your competition doesn't have access to and knowing exactly which part and which sections of a LinkedIn profile to leverage for quick and easy engagement when you're speaking to people so that they reply to you and you always get engagement or what type of posts are working right now that are easy to produce with a little known three app and something I call PSA, Public Service Announcement Marketing. Because increasing reach and engagement on LinkedIn is really just like finding a way to get invited to the most exclusive dinner party in town. You know the one, maybe a nightclub, the one everyone wants to get into, but it's impossible to get into without knowing somebody there. And nobody does that by just talking about themselves because everybody's brain is a bit like a radio antenna. And the only station that anybody on planet Earth listens to is WIFM, otherwise known as What's In It For Me. And the way we speak to what's in it for me is we do what's called a Monday morning problem in our LinkedIn profile for positioning. But before we jump into that, we first of all have to understand who's going to invite us and how to find them. Because if you can't find the right person, then you will never get an invitation. And this is exactly the same like LinkedIn. You need to know exactly who's going to buy, exactly who needs to buy now, who's going to engage and who's going to push your content further. And there's actually an easy way to do this with a little known app. So in order to illustrate this, we need an example. So let's just run right now with the example of being an executive health coach. Just imagine you target wealthy executives to help them stay healthy. Where would you look for them? Well, you want executives that value personal improvement. So if it was me, I target people engaging with content from a famous leadership expert like Simon Sinek or Brené Brown, who also have an element of personal development in their content. But that's crazy time consuming to do on LinkedIn because you'd have to go into LinkedIn, you'd have to find them, you'd have to look at all the people engaging in the post, you'd have to pull them out one by one, make a list of them, maybe put them into a spreadsheet and it's just not possible. But the good news is you can do this whole thing free and in a matter of seconds by just doing this. Go to their profile of your ideal client, scroll down to their posts, click on a post with loads of ideal client engagers, go up to the three dots there, copy link to the post, pull it into the app, we'll give you a download with the app. I don't wanna make this video just about the apps, it'll all be available at the end. Then create a list, just SS for Simon Sinek, create the list, paste, the link to the post there, it says import people from a specific post, then press import and it's gonna do its thing. It's gonna put all of those leads in there. It's gonna create the list there, click at the bottom there and then it pulls out all of these ideal clients and you can see their information, you can get their email, you can message them. But what I like to do is I like to click on them and open up their LinkedIn from there so I can just go and do the connect messages. So now we know how to find the host of the dinner party and we know who we need to target to get invited to the dinner party, aka more reach, more engagement and clients on LinkedIn. What do we do now? Do we simply go and ask them if we can get an invite to the party? Of course not, because just like anybody with status and anybody, anybody with the ability to make decisions on LinkedIn or the party host, that's why they're saying they likely get dozens of requests daily. They get bombarded in their inbox and it's really, really difficult to get their attention by doing what everybody else does. So we need to do something different. And so we just need to make some very simple tweaks to our LinkedIn profile by adding some content specifically designed so that the host or so that the people you're targeting on LinkedIn believe and feel you are an authority. And of course, don't worry, you don't need to go on camera to do this. The best results we have had is with a very simple artificial intelligence app making content for the carousels and then automatically going to another one and filling in the carousels so that you can do it in a matter of moments. This one's called Perplexity and I'm gonna list the apps at the end and in a download below so you can get all the step by step and do it really simply. But for now, this is what you do. Go to Perplexity, ask it to create a list of devices, apps, anything that's really easy to consume for your prospect. They love lists. It gets engagement, it gets reach. Type it in. The AI app is different to ChatGPT. 
because it's going to go and search the internet and give you consolidated text that you don't even need to edit. You see it, see it there? Copy and paste the text, take it across to the next app. And by the way, we're listing all these at the end and there's a download below if you want them. You're going to open up one of the carousel templates. You're going to go to the left and you're just going to drop it in where it says text to carousel. And then it'll fill in the text on the carousel automatically without you taking loads and loads of time to copy and paste across. Do this for three days and you'll be rocking and rolling. Now that we've got their attention, what I say might be surprising, but we have tested this over thousands of LinkedIn profiles over six years. It never fails. Don't think about a long connect message. Don't think about scripting. Just press connect. And you might be thinking, Mark, but I've been told to personalize my message. Isn't it going to build relationships if we personalize our message? The truth is, the vast majority of people are either going to accept your connect message or never going to accept your connect message, no matter what you do. Some people are happy. Some people are miserable. That's just the way it goes. Trust me, this works. All right, so now we've located the host on LinkedIn. We've located the party host. We've been introduced into their network. So they at least know who we are. So now we can start doing business with them. And do you remember, the best way to think about this is, is dating when you're younger. Do you remember when you were 18 and everybody wanted to play hard to get? Girl likes boy. Boy shows he likes girl. Girl no longer likes boy. We've all been there. And just like a dinner party, it's the status game. It's the popularity game. LinkedIn is the status game. And so what we do here in the conversation, we want to create a feeling of non-neediness. And the last feeling we want to create is that we're chasing these people for the invite. And here's exactly what I write two days after the connect message has been accepted. Don't do anything too quick. It's needy. Hi, name. Great to be connected. I loved your post about whatever they're posting about, looking forward to learning more. No question, no request for information, no neediness. Or if they don't have content, hey name, great to be connected, looking forward to learning more about, insert what their profile's positioned around and what they do. No question, no request for information, no neediness. This does so well because 99% of LinkedIn won't even bother to look down below, but above the top of the image. And even if they do, they won't do the personalization. This takes 10 seconds. It really, really will scale your reach, engagement, and leads on LinkedIn. We've been doing it for years. And now this is where we go for the Monday morning problem. Remember everybody's favorite radio station from the beginning, WIFM, what's in it for me? And the Monday morning problem is the way we speak to what's in it for me. Think of your ideal client. Think of them on a Sunday night. Think of them getting ready for the week. Then on a Monday, think what they do on a Monday morning. High performers, my clients, typically they're planning, they're meditating, they're exercising. They're probably family orientated if they're my client and they're spending time with the kids or taking them to school. And then when they get back, they walk into the home office or they walk into the office and boom, they look at their inbox, problem, problem, problem. They look around and they're like, who can help me with this? And that is exactly what we need in the headline of our LinkedIn profile for after they've accepted the connect message, after we've sent the non-needy message, they need to see that we are worth their time before we go any further on getting invited to the party and moving things along for lead generation. And we've done a fantastic video that shows using the power of AI, more, more apps, exactly how to get this into your LinkedIn profile so you can go about getting invited to the party. You can see it here or here, wherever you see that, click on that and it'll take you through step by step to build out your LinkedIn profile. Thank you so much for listening. I really hope this has been valuable.